Hello everybody, Corey here. Uh, we are going to go over the trades and holdings for the single stock ETFs in this video. Just a reminder, I am not a qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. All I'm doing is gathering the data uh, available out there and I'm presenting it to you uh, just so you know what's going on with these so you can make your decision uh, whether you want to invest in these and form your own opinions. Uh, but just a reminder, yield max ETFs are extremely risky. Um, some of these more than others, but make sure you understand the risks here. Make sure you understand the fact that these are income ETFs, not growth ETFs, and uh, that distributions are the first priority. So we're going to, sorry, we're going to go straight in to the holdings here. So we have AIYY. Uh, looks like some people have sold out of this. They've closed today 320 contracts for the synthetic and the short call. So the short call expires tomorrow at 2450. Uh, and we are currently 7% above that or $2.09. Um, wow, this stock did not go down today. So it looks like AI went down by 39 cents, but AIYY actually went up. So, um, but we have one trading day left and today was a red day. So we don't know what will happen tomorrow but looking over here on the right it looks like uh obviously we have no upside here i should really change change this for me i thought it did i guess i did it on a different workbook um but yeah so let's move on we have amdy here uh again some people must have closed out so they've closed out 210 uh, contracts of the synthetic and 210 of the 160 strike price short call. Um, so we do have two short calls, one 5750 and one 160, and we are above both of those. I think yesterday we might have been above one, but not the other. Um, yeah, but we are a few cents away from it. I can see that now. So uh, it looks like we're $2.66 above the highest strike price here. Um, so let's look and see how this affects us. So the short calls, obviously we don't have possible upside for the short calls and the, the short calls are bringing the stock price down 52 cents a share. Of course, our synthetic is bringing the stock price up $1.53. So even though the short call uh, were kept at, we're making money on the synthetic. All right. Let's move down to AMZ. So AMZ has trades. So, well, they have some closed trades over here that we can't don't show on the other screen. Um, so we can see at the top, that's just where they added 200 contracts, the synthetic position, and then they also added a new short call that will expire next week at the 187.50 strike price. And there's all the data on that if you want to see. Uh, but the last two lines that are closed that we don't see on the other one, other tab, uh, those are the calls that were going to expire tomorrow, 195 and 192.50 strike prices. Amazon actually was going down today last I saw it. It looks like they closed at 183.63. So they were able to go ahead and close these out today for two and three cents. So let's go back over uh, to the holdings. Um, so we can see those 200 there that were added. Uh, if we look here, we have three short calls total. So we have the two that expire tomorrow. Um, we have the 187.50 and 190. Hold on. Okay, so we closed out. At, okay, 192.50 and 195. That's good. Okay, so we had four short calls before. Got it. All right. Because this other one's new, All right? Yep. Okay, yep, we have those other ones still. I guess, yeah, they weren't able to close them out. Uh, we can see at the end of the day, the 187.50 strike price was at 30, 13 cents, and the five, uh, the 190 strike price was at 4 cents to close it out. So I figured, I guess they figured they'll wait till tomorrow for that one. Uh, but anyway, if we look over here in the end, uh, based on that first one, the 187.50, it looks like we have upside, possible upside of 39 cents if it could go up tomorrow uh, for the short call specifically. So then we have Apple here. We don't have any trades. We have two short calls that expire tomorrow, 185 and 187.50. 
Uh, looks like the stock price did go up a little bit today. Um, yeah, so we are over those two strike prices. The 185 were over by $4.87. And then we had the 187.50, which looks like we're over by $2.37. So we're over those 3 and 1%. Uh, right now, that's bringing the stock prices down uh, 24 cents a share there. Uh, this one I did look at. And so yesterday, it showed that the um, the synthetic was also positive 62. The difference was that the short calls, the negative 24 cents was actually more than that. So those went down, and the stock price ended up rising um, 9 cents a share there. Um, and the other thing is, it looked like, I don't know, I can't remember now, but they might have had more, uh, money come in as far as, you know, their net assets, because I remember looking at their cash and everything, they just didn't do anything with it, so... Because uh, I think the market value here was up, or the net assets up was up here today by $1.4 million, uh, even though it didn't do much. So I can only assume that's where people buy in, but they're not, you know, using those funds at this time. So it just goes to cash or money market. Um, okay, anyway, we'll move on to Kona here. So they added 300 contracts to the synthetic, and then we have a new short call here for next week with the 215 strike price. So we have seven short calls here on Coney. Uh, six of them expire tomorrow. We are at 199.07. So we dropped $20, almost $21 today, um, which brought us up underneath all these strike prices. Yesterday we were over half of them. But uh, we have the 207.50, 210, 212.50, 220, 50, 2.25. Those all expire tomorrow, and we are under those strike prices anywhere from 4 to 12%. Uh, but we do have the short call for next week at the 215 strike price, which we're under by 7%. Of course, we have our brand new synthetic position with the 220 strike price that we're already under by 10%. All right, so our synthetic is bringing the stock price down $2 a share. And as far as upside, um, I don't know. Looks like maybe we can have a dollar upside if we can get it to go up to the $2.12.50. Uh, but we will see. Let's keep moving on. So we have Dizzo here. They added 45 contracts to the synthetic position and created a new short call with the expiration date of next Friday. Uh, so we have three short calls now, 104, 107, and 105 strike prices. We're underneath those 1 to 3%. Uh, we are underneath our new synthetic here by 2%. If we look at uh, the data over here on the right, the synthetic's bringing the stock down 18 cents a share, and it looks like there's possible upside. I don't know if tomorrow will be red or not, um, but it looks like possible upside of about, um, I don't know, 55, 60 cents there. All right, we have Phoebe here. We don't have any trades. Short call expires tomorrow with a 485 stripe price, which are under by 2%. Uh, so it looks like we have a possibility of a 48 cent upside should it go up tomorrow. GUI, they added 30 contracts to the synthetic and created a new short call expiring next week with a 177.50 stripe price, which were under by 2%. We also have the short call that expires tomorrow with a 172.50 strike price. <laughs> it's funny. Yesterday we were above that strike price by one cent. Now today we're above that strike price by more than a dollar fifty. I think I'm going to stop doing math at this point. Um, so yeah, no upside for the short calls here. We might get some on the if it keeps going up. We might be able to get some on uh, the synthetic. And I don't even know if I said it. That this was gooey. Um, I feel like I just jumped right in. Uh, but anyway, then we have JPMO. It looks like they uh, had some closing transactions. So let's check this out. JPMO closed a short call that's going to expire tomorrow, 197.50. 
Uh, and it looks like they rolled that to next week at that uh, 525. No, they did not. So this is part of the, if you watch the daily roundup earlier, these are 300 contracts they sold out of and have not used. And they will, based on the way they've done this historically, they will use those tomorrow once they see what the market's going to do. Uh, then, uh, well, well, we'll wait on Mernie, but we'll have to come back for Mernie. So let's go back. JPM here. They... They added those 10 contracts to the synthetic and created that new short call for next week. So now we have three short calls, 200, 20250, and the 20750 strike prices. So we're above the 200 by $2.47, which is where the majority of the contracts are sitting. Then we have the 20250, we're under that by three cents. And then the 20750 for next week, we're above that by 2% or $5. Uh, if we look over here to the right, looking at the short calls, there is no possible upside for those, but there could be upside for the synthetic position. Move on to Mernie. So we have some trades. Let's look. So they closed out the short call um, that was going to expire tomorrow at a 125 strike price. <laughs> it actually closed at 132.65 today. So they paid $7.85 a share to close these out. So it cost them $1.76 million. Then they used half of those um, to go ahead and start a new short call position for next week with a 137 strike price. They'll use the other half tomorrow. All right, so if we look at Mernie here, it shows those new ones. We have two short calls one that will expire tomorrow and one for next week. But the one that expires tomorrow, we have 40 contracts. And we're currently over that strike price by $1.64. And then the one for next week, 137 we are underneath that by 3%. If we look over to the right, we can see that the synthetic is making money. It's making $2.25 a share. Um, and then we have possible upside here for the short calls uh, that at least for the one that expires next week, possible upside of 64 cents there. MSFO, no trades. We have two short calls that expire tomorrow, 415 and 425 strike price. The majority of the contracts are sitting at the 415 and we're over that by $5.93 or 1%. Um, let's look over here. So yeah, we have no upside for the short calls. Uh, it's actually bringing the strike price down 30 cents a share. We look at Misty. We had no trades here. We had the one short call at the twelve eighty strike price, which we are under by twelve. I'm sorry, we are over by twelve percent. Um, now, if we look over here, this is actually bringing the stock down three and a half dollars. Um, but then the synthetic position is bringing the stock up three dollars and thirty four cents. So they sort of cancel each other out here, but. Um, yeah, we will see if that goes, if Bitcoin stuff will go down tomorrow. Then we have Nevely here. We have no trades. We have two short calls. They expire tomorrow, 630 and 635 strike price. We're underneath those by three and 4%. So it looks like possible upside of 51 cents tomorrow if it can go up. In Viddy, no trades. We have two short calls that expire. Uh, one expires tomorrow, one next week. So the 921 is the one that expires tomorrow. We're currently over that by 3%. And that's where half of our contracts are sitting. We're over that by $23.46 or 3% there. We are under the other one that expires next week by 1% or 654. Uh, so we can see here that the synthetics... Um, I didn't look at this before, but the synthetic, I'm sorry, not synthetic, the short calls bringing the stock price down 97 cents a share here. So yesterday, so our stock price went up 5 cents while NVIDIA dropped uh, about $3. So yeah, I can't explain that. All right, we're going to move on. Sorry. So we have OARC here, no trades. We have two short calls that expire um, tomorrow, 440 strike and a 44.50. And we closed today down uh, 
at 44.96. So if we can just come down 96 cents tomorrow, this one will be good. Um, it just doesn't have a lot of movement, but uh, we're currently over the one by 96 cents, and we're over the other by 46 cents, and we've got our contract split between the two. All right, so it's just bringing the stock price down over here. Oh, sorry. Um, what is that? 23 cents. All right, so let's move on to PayPay. Uh, no trades here. We have two short calls that expire tomorrow. 65 and 66 strike prices. We are underneath those by 1 and 3%. Uh, possible upside of 24 cents tomorrow for that short call. All right. And then we have squeeze. So we have some things that were closed. So let's go look at the trades. Okay, squeeze. So they closed out the synthetic position that they had. Uh, there today they closed at seventy one seventy five and the strike price was eighty dollars, so they ended up paying. Yeah, when you add those together, what is that? Eight dollars and eighty eighty two cents a share, costing them over three point five million to close those out. Uh, of course, then it cost them money to. Uh, you know, for the July 19th expiration date, it actually ended up costing about 900000 there. So overall, the, they ended up losing $4.35 million. All right. So if we look over here, uh, we can see the new synthetic position there. And then we have the two short calls that expire tomorrow with the $73 and $74 strike price. And we're at $71.75, so we're looking good. We're underneath those by 2 and 3%. And then we're looking at a possible upside of about $0.36 cents tomorrow if this could go up for the short call. Let's move on to Tesla. We have two short calls that expire tomorrow, one seventy two fifty dollars strike price, which we are over by... Two dollars and thirty-seven cents, or one percent, and then we have a short call with one seventy-five strike price, and we're underneath that only by thirteen cents, and then we're also underneath our synthetic positions. So, um, yeah, we have no upside, <laughs> except for the fact that you know that these stock prices will go down. Um, if this, yeah, if they can get up underneath the stock price or this other one, you know never makes it up above that, then I guess we have, you know, this amount here, but yeah, let's move on to Zomo, no trade, short call expires tomorrow with 118 stroke price, at least we're underneath that as of today, yesterday we were over it, today we're under it, but only by 13 cents, um, not much of a pos possible upside there, maybe a few cents for the, uh, synthetic, maybe, and then we'll go to crash. We didn't have any trades today. Um, we have two short puts that expire tomorrow, 162.50 strike price and 167.50. And then we have the one for next week, which is 162.50. And we are above all of those. And then we have our long call here at the 265 strike price, which we're under by 34%. And then let's see on the right side. Um, so the synthetic position is bringing the stock price down roughly, was that 58 cents? No, 56 cents. That's why I need to stop doing math right now. Um, and then if we look at our short puts here, those don't look bad. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Mainly those synthetics there. All right. And then we just have the WAMAG and WAMAX here. All right, hopefully you are able to get something out of this. Um, if nothing else, you got to see all the strike prices and where they stand with everything. Anyway, um, I will talk to y'all later. But I do have a question. For those of you that do watch this, and I ask because we there's 20 ETFs we fully cover here. And these are the videos that are watched the least. The the trades and holdings. So if you do watch this, um, can you just put in the comments why you watch it? I mean, I guess it's for the strike prices and stuff, but 
uh, I don't know, just trying to figure out, uh, you know, about whether to keep doing these videos or whatever, since uh, it seems that not many people want to really look at the trades and holdings of these. But anyway, y'all can just let me know in the comments, and I will talk to y'all later. Thank you. Bye.